Now then guys, we're back and it's time to do the Gulf fuel review. So we've got the 20 mils in the bottom there, dyed blue water, just with uh, food dyeing it. We're going to add 200 mils of fuel into each measuring jug. Uh, the left one will be the E10 and the right one will be the E5 super unleaded. I'll add those in and I'll come back to you. So on the left we have the E10 and that came in at 143.9 pence a litre and on the right we have the super unleaded and that is only a 97 super unleaded so it's not a 99 and that came in at 154.9 pence a litre. Um, the first thing that I see there is they are really clear compared to some of the other stuff we've we've done. Um, I don't know if that makes any difference at all or you know obviously it's, there's some difference but whether it's a dye or whether it's whatever they put in it but we'll find out what what's in that. Right I'll, uh, I'll give those a big shake up and we'll come back to you. So the one on the left that's the E10 and that only has two and a half percent ethanol in it which is pretty fantastic the one on the right that's a super unleaded e5 and that has zero ethanol in it um it's only a 97 rather than a 99 but zero ethanol uh, especially you know we're not that far off now i know it's january still but once we get round to sort of March, April, people are going to start getting out the bikes and the cars and lawn mowers and all the stuff, especially anything with a carburetor. Um, you know, you're going to want to know what you're putting in that. So the next one that I'm going to do, uh, somebody asked the other day for the Merco fuel. So I will go and get some of that because it's about 10 miles away from me, which, and I'm going in that direction later this week. So I'll pick some up and we'll review that when it comes. Alright then, thank you. Bye.